G'day, g'day. In this guide, I'll be showing you how to build the Easy Pelican. It's a radio controlled plane I designed. Its main features are that it's super easy to build and fly. It's cheap, only made out of one sheet of A1 foam board, as well as being super durable. It can take many crashes and keep on flying afterwards. Some parts of it are inspired by work done by flight test and experimental airlines. Check out the written instructions below for a list of what you'll need as well as the plans. I'm try, try landing. Oh my god dude, that was amazing! Alright, let's get started with the build. Uh, first of all, you want to apply a glue stick to the foam board going right to the edges. You don't need full coverage since we'll be removing the plans later. A good mesh pattern is nice, refer to what I did. Glue the plans onto the foam board, making sure to align the paper with the board and smooth it out nicely. Let it dry. Cut out the parts along the solid lines only. The broken lines are for the next step. Score along the broken lines. Try cut through the top layer of paper and most of the foam, leaving the bottom layer of the paper intact. Peel the plans off your parts once you're done, and either write the parts' names onto them or remember the name of each part. Take the main lower fuselage piece and crack open the two score cuts we've done by bending the foam. Bend one side flat as shown and cut a beveled edge into one edge of the piece. Repeat on the other edge and repeat this process on the other side. Once you unfold the part it should look like this. Turn the part over and reinforce it with two strips of packing tape on the reverse side of where the beveled grooves are and trim off any excess tape. Apply hot glue to a lower fuselage frame as shown on its shortest side, then adhere it to the fuselage part as shown. Repeat with all four frames. Take the vertical stabilizer and test fit it with a slot in the lower fuselage. If it fits, apply hot glue where indicated and insert it into the lower fuselage as shown. Check it's at a right angle with the fuselage by holding something like a ruler to it and let it dry. Apply hot glue where shown along the two beveled channels as well as along the fuselage frames. Bend up the fuselage sides and hold together until the glue is dried. Apply hot glue along the top of the joint and then apply packing tape along the top of the joint as well once the glue has dried. Put the fuselage aside and grab one wing section. Crack open the score cuts in the wing by bending it. Uh, perform a bevel cut on the edge shown, just like in the previous steps. Repeat this with the other wing. Turn the wings over and line them up so that the edges meet. Use pieces of tape to hold them in place while you do that. And then use a big piece of packing tape along the length of the joint to hold the wings together. Turn the wings over and crack open the joint, and then squirt a good helping of hot glue into the joint. Lay the wings flat and wipe any glue that's pushed out along the joint with a scrap piece of foam. Let the wings dry for at least 5-10 to 10 minutes and lay something like rulers on top to keep it weighed down. Apply packing tape over the new joint. You can go all the way around the wing if you'd like. Cut the packing tape where we've made our previous score cuts and then apply packing tape on the reverse side just above where the beveled channel is. Run a screwdriver through the score cuts in the wing. Try press firmly so as to create a really deep groove but we don't want to break through the paper on the other side. Glue in the wing spars. Place the lower part of the wing on the table and slowly bend it over. 
extremely slowly with gentle but firm pressure. The foam and tape needs to bend and stretch. If you go too fast, things might crack. It should look like this once you're done. Uh, poke out the cutout sections of the wings if you haven't done that already. And then apply hot glue into the two grooves we made with the screwdriver and fold the wing over again like before. Hold it down, let it dry, then unfold the wing again. It'll be bent, don't try and flatten it out. Apply hot glue to the top of the spars, then apply hot glue through the beveled groove. A lot of glue is required, so make sure your glue gun has reached its peak temperature before you begin this step. Fold the wing over again, and firmly hold it in place for some time. Put some weights on top and let it dry for about 5 to 10 minutes. Apply hot glue through one of the cutouts in the wings, as shown. It would be a good idea to try bending the wings first to make sure it's all good. You use the dihedral gauge to elevate the tip of the wing to the correct height and hold the wing in place until it's set. Let it dry for another 5 to 10 minutes. Apply packing tape over the glue joint and repeat the dihedral process on the other side of the wing. Cut a section of barbecue skewer to the length shown and use hot glue to glue it into the center of the trailing edge of the wing. Apply packing tape along the trailing edge of the wing. In the process, make sure to cover the skewer. Uh, put the wings aside and grab the upper fuselage piece. Run your screwdriver along the score cuts to deepen them like before. On the reverse side, apply four pieces of packing tape along the back of all the grooves we just made. Bend the fuselage along all the grooves. Each groove needs to make a 90 degree bend, so flex until you can bend just past that. Hold it in place for a few seconds, then release the fuselage. Apply hot glue to the upper fuselage reinforcement and glue it down as shown. Apply hot glue into the channels shown and then fold up the fuselage and hold it in place until the glue has dried. Apply hot glue to the two remaining channels on the inside, I forgot to do that, as well as along the two edges of the fuselage. Fold together and hold it in place until set. Apply a length of packing tape over the joint and then apply packing tape around the fuselage as well. Apply hot glue to the front of the lower fuselage. Glue on the front bumper. Yours is going to look different. I corrected the plans later. Mine is a bit rough. Trim off the edges of the bumper so that it's flush with the lower fuselage. Apply hot glue along the bottom of the upper fuselage as shown and then glue it onto the lower fuselage making sure to line things up. Use some packing tape to tape the two fuselages together. Go all the way around with the tape. Set aside the fuselage and grab the elevator. Crack open the score cut. Bend it over and bevel the edges as we've done before and apply packing tape to the back side. Test fit the elevator on the vertical stabilizer. If it fits, apply hot glue and slide in the elevator. Hold it in place until the glue is dry. Make sure it's at 90 degrees with the vertical stabilizer by holding a ruler or something onto it. Take the rudder and bevel its longest edge. There's only one edge to bevel this time. Apply tape and then stick it to the vertical stabilizer. Bend it over so that the joint's flat, then apply some more tape on the other side as well. I tried something with hot glue, it didn't really work out. Stick it down well. Stab a barbecue skewer through the upper fuselage where shown and try to get it to go through between the two layers of foam or alternatively directly under the lower piece of foam. This is so the whole width of the roof supports the tension from the wings rather than just the walls of the fuselage. Repeat at the front, this time just trying to get it under the foam directly. Remove both skewers then apply hot glue to the holes we just made. Reinsert the skewers and let them dry. Cut off the skewers to approximately the length shown. Now we're going to install the motor mount. The process is similar for the 3D printed or the plywood motor mount. The mount I use in the video actually broke from the power oh, of the motor. Say. In the downloads I've included an improved design. Motor mount is broken. Oh, yeah. but, uh, you can print another one. Apply hot glue to the sides of the motor mount as shown and repeat on all four sides. 
slide the motor mount into the fuselage and push it in until the edges are contacting the edges of the foam. The motor's thrust angle is dependent on this, so it's really important. Apply hot glue to the wing support and glue it in place. The next steps regarding electronics haven't been as documented as strictly as the previous ones. I did this to give you freedom in the methods you choose, however the following steps will still give you a general idea of how I did it, and I'm sure you can follow along if desired. If you've got any questions, just comment down below and I can help you out. I used metal from a very large, thick paper clip to create this control rod and I inserted it into one of the holes of my servo horn. You might want to try using closer in holes to the center of the servo. Um, because I used the outer hole, the controls of the plane were very sensitive and I suck at flying so it was pretty hard. Insert the other end of the control rod through a control horn and position the servo so that the control horn joint is aligned with the hinge of the control surface when it's at a neutral position. Glue the servo in place, then press the control horn into the rudder to make a mark on it. Make a cut where you marked using a knife and then apply hot glue into the cut. Push the control horn into the cut and hold it till it's dry. Repeat the same procedure on the elevator, it's just turned to the side. Wire up the rest of your plane with the receiver, ESC and everything else. Push all of these into the fuselage through the hole. You can use tape to hold them in place so they don't come back out the hole. I did this later because it caused problems. I mounted some adhesive velcro to the front of the fuselage and I put the same velcro on the bottom of the battery so that it can be mounted securely but removed when needed. Now we're securing the wing to the plane using rubber bands on the barbecue skewers. First apply two in a diagonal orientation to create like an X shape. Then apply two perpendicular to the wing. Cool, that's all we need. Get the magpie out. Where's the magpie? Alright, here I'm demonstrating flying the plane. In the video it kind of looks hard to control, but honestly I'm just a really bad flyer. This plane's great to practice with. It's taken many hits and it's pretty easy to fly. Let me know if you try it out and see how you go. If you enjoyed this, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I should have brought more with me. I had them in the car. It's alright dude. It's good enough. We should bail.